basically, my, my template, it's 20 years of work of tweaking, but it's this, it's just everybody in their place, but I have Unicorda um, out just because mm -hmm. I want access to that all the time. That's where I start, is this the beautiful, yeah, beautiful, that. beautiful, yeah, the Unicorda. It's called the Unicorda because each string has one chord instead of two or three. And um, it's so customizable. Um, just cool options of, you know, just rabbit hole stuff of plates of, um, just like most plugins these days. But sadly, it has these two buttons, ambience, which I just turned that on. Uh, very noisy. And pianist. It's just a dude scooting his ass around a seat. <laughs> so, you turn that thing on, and you just hear this dude just squeaking his butt around. And I did, I didn't know that that was selected one time, and I made all the stems for a score. And then <laughs> when the engineer, the mix engineer got it, he was like, hey man, there's some sort of ghost on all these stems. And I went into the stems and I made the waveforms really big. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I had to dig in and it's pianist. <laughs> it's wow. just a dude squeaking around. Um, other than that is my favorite piano plugin uh, because I tend to like uprights yeah. uh, more so than uh, than grands, uh, the Yamaha C7 being the exception. Uh, a, I like the Noir one. What's Noir? Noir, I think I'm saying that right. Noir, uh, in contact. Okay. But there's like two piano settings. One is like, I think a regular, I think they're both upright, and then one of them is felt. Oh, Ooh. One is pure and one is felt. Yes, okay, well that's that's similar to con, uh, to Unicorda. With, with Unicorda you have, um, you have pure, and you have cotton. Beautiful. Then you have felt as well. Beautiful. I mean, it's just inspirational every time, and the presets are really cool in it. Um, we we were really into. Uh, we we went full full ride on the Abbey Road one. Uh, for strings, and we also have uh, East West. Um, on, on my team, we do the Composer Cloud, um, and the East West stuff is great. Uh, Spitfire really, um, when when you when you're having to deal with uh, creating scores with samples, uh, everything can be really clean and really pristine. And um, I used to kind of detune stuff, like you know what I mean, yeah. get some tr sort of realness in there, and then. Um, I found this Bernard Herrmann stuff. Bernard Herrmann was a composer that did a, a million great things, most notably uh, um, Alfred Hitchcock movies, you know, Psycho, Rear, Rear Window. And they came out with this amazing uh, Bernard Herrmann pack, um, Spitfire. And it's all these really cool Bernard Herrmann things, you know, <laughs> terrifying stuff. Uh, I mean, down to just... It's like Alfred Molina and Indiana Jones. Spiders on his back, you know. You just see it. Um, experimental clusters. Or you can shorten them. You know, that stuff is great. And then you have very inspirational, just cheat stuff like studio orchestra. have traditional cool cool little things those types of things amazing um, the amazing that's that's Abbey Road one 